If you're new to painting, you may be experiencing a few troubling issues. Paint is too thick. I can't get a smooth background. I've got this thing that feels like a paint ridge every time I swoop my brush around the edge of the design and can't get a nice smooth edge. I've got these clogged up paint bottles with these paint boogers in them and I don't know what to do. <laughs> these are all very common problems, especially when you're first starting out painting. And so I'm going to show you a few little tips and tricks that you can do to avoid some of these problems and get back to doing the fun part, which is painting. So let's start first with what happens when you get a paint booger in your bottle, because <laughs> it's going to happen. Even if it hasn't happened yet, it's going to happen soon. And then after that, I'm going to show you how to get a nice, smooth background. I'm going to squirt some of this right onto my door hanger. Sometimes when you go to squirt out paint, you'll have like a little paint booger in there. That's what I like to call it. It's like a glob of paint that got stuck against the bottom of the paint. And that's usually from leaving your paint bottle open a little too long in between projects. So just scoop that out and put it in the trash. You also want to remove this crusty little paint booger on the top of your bottle as often as possible because those little crusty boogers are what prevent your bottle from being able to close completely. And sometimes you'll even get them up in the top of the cap. So just make sure that when your cap closes, it can seal completely and that will prevent future paint boogers. Okay, I've just got a sponge here and I'm actually going to spritz my, this this wood is super dry. So I'm actually gonna spritz it with a little bit of water so that the paint spreads a little easier on the surface. So if you struggle with painting backgrounds and getting a good solid coat, maybe your paint is too thick, spritzing it with a little bit of water will definitely help getting an even spread of paint. Now, if any little paint boogers wind up on your projects, just kind of swipe away or scoop them out if you can. That way they don't dry in the middle of the wood. Just keep smoothing that around until you get nice good coverage. Keep the project wet while you continue to smooth it with your sponge. I'm going around my raw wooden edges here because this piece was cut with a jigsaw instead of a laser. And then once you've got it completely covered, dry it with a hairdryer or a heat gun or just let it set and dry. Okay, well, now let's talk about the paint ridge, <laughs> the dreaded paint ridge. This is something I hear people asking so often right in the beginning, and it's usually because they've got too much paint on their brush when they go to their canvas and they're having a hard time staying within the line. So I'm just gonna take a pen here, and for example's sake, I'm gonna draw a circle and I'm gonna dip in some paint. Let's see, we'll select this yellow right here loading up my brush. Now the problem we people have is when they go directly to their canvas, they go right to the edge and they start pulling that paint along the edge. And then they go back and they get more paint and they pull it along the edge. And as they're doing that, there we go. I just did it. <laughs> you get something called a paint ridge. See how the paint kind of gathered up right there on the edge? That is a frustrating problem that happens so often. So the way to avoid this, this let's draw another circle and I will demonstrate. When you go to your project, you've got your brush loaded with your paint, start by painting right in the middle or dabbing some of it off in the center. Then once you've got a little bit of your paint off, you're gonna line your brush up with the edge of the circle and start going around. And now that we don't have very much paint paint on our brush, we can easily glide along. Now, if you start to run out of paint, you know, I was painting on this side, flip your brush over and you'll have a little bit more on the other side of your bristles and you can pull to finish painting that circle. And your results are gonna turn out much smoother than the previous attempt. Another common problem that you may encounter is when your paint is too thick. So that could be because you've left it sitting in your palette like I have for too long, or it could be because your bottle has been sitting still for too too long or it's been on the shelf at the store for too long or it could just be thick paint and so see how this paint is really thick it's looking really gummy and kind of like it's not spreading well on my bristles it's looking kind of yucky when I start to paint with it I get all kinds of texture and if that's not what you're wanting that can be really frustrating I like to have or keep on hand a little spritzer bottle because I can spritz my project to kind of thin out the paint and continue to spritz it to thin it out or I can take this little spritzer bottle and spritz just a little bit and the reason the spritzer is important is because sometimes when we're pouring paint in something we end up with a whole puddle and it's just way too much when sometimes a little tiny spritz is all you need Cherie like bring the paint back alive <laughs> see that was very little paint it was just maybe four or five little spritzes and that was just enough to reactivate this paint now i can come over here to my project and begin painting away with nice smooth paint that works way better than what i started with so this i picked up at the local hobby lobby probably around the scrapbooking section where they have like the alcohol inks and the stamp pads and stuff it's just a fine mist spray bottle 
but you can also find them online and in my Amazon favorites. The next problem we're gonna talk about is what if you drop your paintbrush? So um, I'm just gonna demonstrate by first laying down a little bit of paint because this won't be easy to demonstrate on a dry piece of paper. But if you've got a painted surface or an area like this that you have already painted and you drop a paintbrush on it that had paint on it, I'm gonna show you a quick way to clean that up. Okay, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of yellow paint with my little brush here. And I'm gonna pretend that I am just doodling and designing and painting and then all of a sudden, oops, something happened and I dropped my brush and it, I didn't really make a very big splatter, but you can see there that it made like a little splatter. If you keep a baby wipe handy, nice danced baby wipes, not dried out crusty baby wipes, you can quickly wipe this up and clean this up with no issue. Now, if I'd done this over here on the dry piece of paper, it wouldn't have cleaned up as easily, but you can barely see any remnant, especially if you kind of like go back and scrub on it just a little bit. You can't see where I made that little mistake. Baby wipes are a must have in the craft room. Um, this also works if you have a paint pen and you were maybe doing some lettering with your paint pen and suddenly you were like, oh, I did not like that. So, you know, maybe I don't like the way I did my tea with my paint pen. I can quickly wipe it and clean it up. The important thing also is to make sure you've got a clean side of your baby wipe or you'll transfer more yellow paint back to your project. For the most part, that came up. There's a tiny little spot right there, but very easy to clean up. Another problem you might have is if you are trying to learn how to use a writer bottle to create like a cute little design and you don't like how you did it, wipe it up with the baby wipe and it's like it never happened and you can go back and do it again. So keep those baby wipes handy. They're gonna solve a lot of your painting problems. And if you have a common issue that you are struggling with that maybe I didn't cover in this video, drop it down in the comments and let me know. And I'll make another video showing you how to combat that problem. All right, y'all, happy painting.